Hallo, hallo. Hallo,
For those of you who are standing behind, please uh, take up your places upstairs 
on the lawyer coughed. You have to come this side and there is a fan there and there are chairs upstairs. There is ample place plus there is place up by the side on the aisle. Good evening to all of you present here. Welcome as we are gathered to celebrate Maria Duse of Biju's life and share our grief at her passing away. She had a generous soul, always ready to help, and as such was the president of Legion de Maria and a very active member of St. Vincent de Paul Society. She was a very compassionate soul. It may comfort all, all of us a bit to realize that Biju is now reunited with her husband, Professor Leo, and that someday all of us who are here will all be together again when we cross 
to the other side. This is only a brief parting in the larger scheme that Jesus has offered to all of us. We admired Biju at the way she took care of these three little boys at that time, alone. You can imagine she would go to St. Teresa's High School in Vasco from here, would be back, and we know what they have become today, most productive, useful members of this society. She set a very fine example of what is to be a good wife, of what is to be a, a mother and friend to all of us. She always did her best to be patient with everyone. And that's the reason why we at Fontaines loved her. She was an optimist, always willing to pitch in and do whatever was needed. She always saw the good in people and her one rare quality, if she saw the bad, she certainly didn't gossip about it. She was there for all the highs and lows of her friends' lives. And I think the size of this gathering tells her, despite this problem of COVID-19, it is a testament to how much we all loved her. She had a great deal of faith and rarely missed any mass and service in this chapel. In honor of her faith and her life, let's all sing the hymn, How Great Thou Art, and we'll soon have the three priests, Father Roger Gudino, the Dominican priest, whom she has helped for the vocations, we have the Jesuit priest, Father Patrick Viegas, and our own chaplain, Father Roque da Costa. Please join as the choir gives us how great thou art, and please stand up. Father, 
after completing her surgeon on the earth. She lived her life on this earth having deep and abiding faith in the Almighty God. Today, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us thank the Lord for the gift of the life of Maria the Seo to us. Through her, we, we too have experienced many good things and the love of God. We also ask our dear God Jesus to receive her into his kingdom where there is life and joy forever. Let us also pray for all who mourn, very specially her son, their families, and her brothers and sisters, that they may cast their care on God and experience the consolation of His love. from the book of wisdom like a sacrificial burnt offering he accepted the righteous the souls of the righteous are in the hands of God and no torment will ever touch them in the eyes of the foolish they seemed to have died and their departure was thought to be an affliction and they are going from us to be their destruction. 
but they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect, and he watches over his holy ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sorry, it's sound. for the gospel acclamation. said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. 
and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Christian life is summarized in three virtues. The virtues of faith, hope and charity. In the first reading taken from, from the book of wisdom, the gospel reading, both these places we see the two virtues that is hope and faith. The wisdom book reminds us that those who are righteous are with God. We have not seen that place and that's our hope that we will be with God one day. We have this incident in the gospel where Lazarus was dead. Jesus comes to meet them, the sisters Martha and Mary. And there is this little the discussion taking place between Martha and Jesus saying, Lord, if you were to be here, my brother would not have died. Jesus tells her, still, things can change. And Martha says, yes, Lord, I believe. Meanwhile, there is very powerful uh, revelation that is given to us through this gospel and the Lord says I am the life and the resurrection so Mary said and Martha said at the end Lord I know you are Christ and you are the one who was supposed to come so Mary Martha expresses her faith and Jesus tells her about hope the people of God, as I said, a Christian life can be lived with these three virtues, faith, hope and charity. The faith is in Jesus, that he is our creator, that he is our savior and that Jesus died for us. He rose again. Now he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Although if Jesus were to die and go without his resurrection, his life would have been meaningless but the resurrection that made the whole difference so today as we live here on earth someone has got a phone please put it off so as we live our life here we have to live the life of faith Faith is what? We believe in Jesus. That He is our Savior. No matter what circumstances we go through, we need to believe that He is our Savior and He has died for us to save us. And that is the faith. Along with the faith, we have larger content of our Catholic faith that we find in the Catechism of the Catholic Church or in the teachings of the church. So you can grow in your faith as we you know, make attempts to learn faith more and more. Then we talk about hope. The hope is that Jesus died, he rose again, now he is with the Father. And with his resurrection, Jesus has opened the heaven for us. Once it was closed because of the sin, now it is open. So we have hope. The death that we celebrate today of our sister Maria is not the end, the end of the journey here on earth, but the beginning of the new life. And that's the hope. And because of this hope, we Christian, though we experience pain of our loved ones when they die, yet Bigger than the pain, there is hope, gives, up, gives us consolation that the life is not over. 
because our souls do not die our souls do not die they are created and hence they live forever so we believe we will be with god and that is the hope and this hope makes us to live here on the earth that one day we will be with god and with god there is eternal bliss all the things that we had been desiring we had been wishing we had been expecting if at all we didn't get those things here we will be in one moment by seeing the trinity face to face we will experience the bliss the happiness the joy you call it pleasure so that is our hope but your brothers and sisters in both these readings today we did not find reference to charity yes as we live here we need to follow the teaching of the catholic church that's our faith we live we need to live our life in hope that one day we will be with god for eternity but that's not enough we need to live life of charity that is love love can be expressed in any form as long as you love your neighbor in any form all the acts of charity so my dear brothers and sisters these three things will take us to heaven our sister who is here with her dead body i had opportunity to know her a little a few years ago we have heard right in the beginning in the introduction a lot of things spoke about her and i told about a christian life is faith hope and charity i think she lived these three virtues we need not be worried i believe that's my strong faith she lived a life of faith she lived a life of hope she lived a life of charity at least the third part i am the witness the help that we have received from her the generosity that joy on her face while doing those little things so a good christian we have right in front of us and many of you who are very close to her probably would know her much better than ourselves so my dear brothers and sisters the word of god is with us but the lives of many of our own people is also right in front of us and as i said right from the beginning and my uh, the reflections are in the faith hope and charity the example is right in front of us she lived a life of faith she lived life of hope and charity i remember last days when she was in the hospital i did visit her and i could see in her that she would ask me pray for me she would tell me to pray for her and it is jesus that she wants to long to see my dear brothers and sisters and that is what is our life also i remember the last vis visit she made me in south she could not come out she could not speak only she smiled at me as she sat in the car and the tears flowing down but at the end she smiled again with all her pain with all the discomfort that she had yet she smiled at me and that's where i could see the hope in her probably she knew that her days were counted and yet there was a smile on her face and this is exactly i talk about hope in spite of all the pains that we go through we still have a smile on our face because we know that we are going to be still enjoying better life there with god so my dear brothers and sisters we thank god for the gift of our sister here for the faith that she lived the hope that she lived and the charity that she lived and all of us there's nothing beyond these three virtues let us try to live hope faith and charity
Let us stand and put forth our prayers before the Lord. Prayer of the faithful, let our response be. Christ have eternal life. Our grandmother Maria the Seo believed in Jesus Christ and in his eternal life. Let us pray that the Heavenly Father may have mercy on our soul. Our response. And the life. Our grandmother followed Jesus Christ and gave him to others. She did her best to live a life pleasing to God. But due to human nature, if she is still in sin, we ask the Heavenly Father to have mercy upon her soul. We pray to the Lord. grandmother has brought upon sorrow and distress to all the family members. We ask the Heavenly Father to give them peace and tranquility in their hour of grief. We make this prayer to the Lord. be focused on our heavenly treasures and on our eternal life. We pray to the Lord, our response. and those which in our heart. <coughs> Let us pray in a special way for her three sons and their families and all the family members and the friends. And let us ask the Lord that He may grant her eternal rest and happiness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
For the praise and glory of His name, our word and good of all His holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Maria Dussel, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of the charity, together with Francis Apo, Philip Larry Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Maria, who you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son in a death like his. They also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, Lord, in thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, 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 power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ.
Lord, I'm not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
be delivered by her sister Maria de Sales, and that is Anna. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It's still very hard to believe you're gone and with us no more. Today, I would like to make this tribute of love to my dearest sister, Biju. It is with a feeling of deep sorrow and much love that I stand here to bid a final adios to my beloved sister. As I think of the past, memories flood my mind with the good old days I shared with her. My sister Biju was a very kind person and was ready to help not only me but to anyone, anytime. I would like to mention that she was a person who was of service of, to anyone who needed her help. She was very creative and talented too. She had a zest for life, most evident by the many exotic both Portuguese and other dances and the place that she would teach and put up at the school where she was teaching. She always wanted things to be done in a very meticulous manner. I've never seen her discouraged nor depressed, even in the face of daunting difficulties that might crush many. One of the qualities that I admired most in her was her unwavering faith in the Lord that helped her navigate through the vicissitudes of her life. However, inside the tough exterior hid a very sensitive, vulnerable and generous soul, something that was privy only to a few. I have to thank the Lord for giving us this gift of this exemplary sister of ours who was very selfless and leading our way through difficult periods as well as sharing joyous moments of our lives. Today, we are feeling the loss of you, my dear Spichu, and it's painful. But we know that you are in a much better place without pain and your spirit is glowing bright with the love and beauty that you possessed in life. I end this with gratitude and my sincere thanks to you, my dear sister, and sadly on behalf of my and of the entire Gong's family, I say goodbye to you. We will always love and miss you, dear Spichu. May your soul rest in peace. That's the thing I ask my Lord. Thank you. Uh, we have the second eulogy and that is from the Society of uh, St. Vincent de Paul and it is Lilia. On behalf of my conference of Santa Isabel Panjim, Society of St. Vincent de Paul, I wish to pay a last tribute to our dear sister, Maria Duceo, who has been a part of our family for many years. She was a committed and a sincere member. She held the post of a secretary and did her job with such diligence which we will always treasure. Although at times her health did not permit her to attend the meeting, her commitment forced her to make the minutes available to us. Her presence would bring a smile to all of us. Besides being a member, Maradasya has been a close friend to me. We would meet every Wednesday 
in our weekly clinic. After the clinic was over, both of us would take a long walk in Panjim, chatting together and sharing with each other with joy and fun. There were times I did not agree to certain things and tried to explain to her or advise her and she would accept it. This was her greatness. That we would do a little marketing and walk back. This walk together was very special to us, to both of us. It was only with the COVID pandemic that let us down, which deteriorated her health. Moreover, when her speech was affected, she was feeling quite upset, as all of us were finding it difficult to keep in touch by not being able to communicate with her. Yet, she was strong in faith. When we tried to have online meetings, we taught each other to operate. She learned to participate very well. But due to her speech, she was feeling let down. But we encouraged her to write the minutes which were well written and then read by me. During her last conversation with us, she was hopeful that she would be back with us soon. We will truly miss her, but she will not be forgotten. On behalf of all, uh, of all our members and the Society of St. Vincent de Paul in Goa, with a heavy heart, we say goodbye to our dear sister and her friend and pray that God may give her the eternal reward for all the good works she has achieved. May her soul rest in peace. Goodbye, Maradisya. It's uh, her son Kevin who will express uh, his feelings. A tribute of love for a wonderful mother from her three beloved sons. Mom was the most caring and loving mother to the three of us. Her life was an eventful one and well lived. It was filled with love, laughter, care for one and all and sprinkled with wonderful memories, touching the lives of so many in the process. From an early age, as the eldest child of a large family, mom understood and exemplified the meaning of responsibility and placing family before herself, supporting her parents to ensure that her siblings received the very best upbringing and opportunities, and later doing the same for the three of us. Growing up in Vasco, mom had an early love for teaching and followed a vocation at the St. Teresa's High School there. Spending a long career of close to 40 years helping to shape and mold the lives of several generations of students. Fondly called Miss Gomes by her students, mom taught geography as a core subject, filling her lessons with a passion and love for the subject and also led the Girl Guides group at the school. Mom used to love to relate anecdotes about the camping adventures that she used to take her girl guides to, much to our amusement and, and, and envy. Mom also passed on her love for her Portuguese heritage by teaching her students Portuguese dances for the school concerts, leading to many memorable post performances, including her favorite, Marsha de Fontanish. After her marriage to our late dad, Professor Leo Rodericks. Mom moved to live in Fontaineish in the late 70s, a wonderful place to raise a family. Mom enjoyed 40 years 
of her life here and never wanted to live anywhere else. Even as we grew up and moved to other places and asked her to come and live with us in her retired years, she always used to say, I will visit you, but I will not move. A highlight of her family life in later years with the many memorable family reunions at mom's house in Fontainish. She would delight in playing the role of the caring matriarch and doting grandmother to her much beloved grandkids, reveling in the cute antics with love and laughter, filling the home and ringing out far and aloud. Mom worked very hard and dedicatedly to ensure that the three of us had outstanding educational opportunities and was very proud of all our professional and life achievements. For this too, we will always be eternally grateful to her and the fine example she gave us of selfless Christian love. After retirement, true to her hard-working nature, she refused to take it easy, but rather pitching herself head fast into charitable social work and contributing to the parish groups in many different capacities. Work she really enjoyed and used to tell us so much about on our WhatsApp calls and messages. Also, after retirement and with the children now well settled, mom could finally indulge herself properly in a passion for geography and visit in person the many faraway lands that she had taught about all those years. Some of you seated here were her favorite travel partners on the many world tours. And we thank you deeply for looking after our mother so well on those travels. Mom also had the opportunity to visit many members of her family living abroad and us in our overseas postings and to accompany us on many memorable travels and adventures together. In fact, a small standing joke in the family that would cause Mom some amusement was about how she had visited more countries than our otherwise well-traveled sons with global careers. Wonderful memories that fill many a photo album that mummy would cherish and look over in a quieter moments. Being deeply religious, mom also believed in serving the less fortunate in the world, a sterling quality that she passed on to us. She loved God and spent many hours and days in prayers, encouraging us, attending retreats and filling books with scriptural writings. Looking back and reflecting on mom's beautiful life and the inspirational example that she was and the many lives she touched, we feel an immense sense of gratitude and fulfillment for a life well led that she shared with all of us assembled here today to bid her final adieus. Go well, mom. To your richly deserved heavenly abode, to be reunited with our dear dad, and all the other departed of the family and friends that are waiting to receive you with the choirs of angels singing in heaven. We will always love you. Let us stand for the prayer. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Maria Dussel may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The final prayers we'll have in company. Mele Kurik Mati Glanzo Kaido, Babarzen Chitali for Mone Paltana, Donian Deva Viswasan Pratunya, Yam Che Bonichi, Ami Mati Klaitan Tibina Shikur, Sorvis Paul, Boktancha Borgan, Puno John Polan to Vinashi Koro, Anitito Atmo, Bajon Tancha Domian Nero, Moshe Monancha Zarantlo, Anipat Kancha Fasantlo Sutton, Bapalagi Raji Zaun, Borea Gomecha Kandar, Sasni Kraicha Poribaran, Nirontoni Boibo, and Bajon Danto Sangat, Tika Power Zaun.
मनीचो आत्मो आम्ही तुझ्या अधीन करता जेजुताय मेल्ल्या सगळ्या बरोबर निमाण्या दिसा जेजू सांगता पुनर्जीवन ती जातेली म्हण ती बरवांशान फाती येता या विनाशी जिवितान तुझे चाकोनी सभा देण्याने तुवें बोलली अशें तुझ्या उदार मनांची आणि क्रिस्तताय भक्तांच्या एकवटाची खुणा आमकां दिली देखून आम्ही तुका दिन वाचता सर्वेश्वरा आमचे प्रार्थन तुका कुतीन मानून घे तुझे चाकोनी स्वर्गीची दारा उगोड आणि आम्ही या संवसारांत अजून आसा ती बाबार्थाच्या उतरांनी एकामेकाक बुजोण दिवशी कर असे जेजू सवे पावून तुझ्या सांगाता आणि आमचे भणी बराबर आम्ही सोगली सदांखाल जियव क्रिस्ता आमच्या सुमिया वरवी देवदूत तुका वैकुटान घेऊन व्हरू तुझ्या वेळी रॉक साक्षी तुका स्वागत करू आणि स्वर्गीच्या झेरुझाला शहरात व्हरून पावू देर विल बी देर विल बी ए स्पेशल मास ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑफ दिस मंथ एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इन द इवनिंग ऑन सॅटर्डे फॉर द सोल ऑफ मॅरी दुसऱ्या ऑफर्ड बाय द रिजन ऑफ मॅरी in this chapel
భక్తులు అని ముషితం చేత అని మక సోత్మంత మాగ్ని ఎక్టాయి గురుం చికల్ల మాగ్ని బరాబర్ మునియా ఆమ్ చే బాబా సోయిసా జిల్లా ఆగోగి సోదా జిల్లా రాజా జాయిలాయి ఉజికి కోషి సోదా దాదా సోషి సోసరాంజా అంతదా సోది సోతో అదిరా దాదా ప్రాతి అనియా అనియా సే బోల్యా ఉకుతా సోషి లాంచి బాత్రా హోస్ అనియా అనియా దాదా బోల్యా జోరాకా ఇన్వరా నివరా నివరా నివర్ సర్వేస్ పరా आम्ही तुझ्या लागी प्रार्थना तुझे मेल्लेचा कोणीची काकलूत कर आपल्या कोर्ण्यांची शिक्षा तिका देऊ नका किद्या तुझी कोशी पाडू तिका मन असणे बऱ्या बाबार्थान हंगा तिका बाबार्थ्यांचा एकवट आयली तेच करी तुझे का कोती स्वर्गीन देवदूतांच्या बोरान तिका स्वागत मेळू क्रिस्त आमच्या समिया भोगी शास्त्राचो बिसो सर्वेश्वरा तिका लाभोय
Esta que fue esta, y Santa Anita.